the never-ending search for Alpha reminds me of Star Trek, right? Boldly going where no one has gone before. Tell me about some of the bleeding edge stuff your quants are working on. Yeah, you know, some of the really interesting work on the quant side is around natural language processing. There's an enormous amount of verbiage out there in financial markets and in the broader world, which might have alpha in it. It's beyond human capability to read all of that stuff. Uh, but actually, it's the sort of thing which modern natural language processing can really get on top of. And yes, they can even deal with emojis. They can even work out whether a rocket ship pointing up means something different than a rocket ship pointing down. And you know, there's a lot of a lot of really interesting opportunity there, both to generate pure quant alphas and also to save the discretionary portfolio managers a huge amount of time so they can concentrate on the thing that they do better than computers, which is interviewing people. So that would be one type of area. Another type of area is you know, we take quant processes into parts of the markets or the sort of asset world that other people sort of don't really think that they apply. Um, and you know you can apply quant processes in almost any asset class, or actually any asset class, if you understand how to make it into a liquid tradable instrument. So, you know, sort of the when we had the recent um, snowstorms in Texas, and you know there was lots of sort of news headlines talking about the difference between the grid in Texas with the East Coast, the West Coast, and somewhat surprised, you know. We have been trading those three electricity markets independently using quant processes for a long time and to uh, to good effect, making the markets more efficient and also earning our clients a return. Mm -hmm.